Okay, so now that you are set on using Voyager and you want to start building your awesome application, let's first go ahead and learn how to install Voyager. So we're going to do this with four steps. The first one being to install a new Laravel app. We will then require the Voyager package into our application. We will then add our database credentials. And then finally, we will run the Voyager installer. So let's start off by creating a new Laravel application. And I'm gonna do this using the Laravel command, and I will create a new application called Voyager. Okay, so simple enough, we have just installed a new Laravel application, and I am using Laravel Valet, so if I do go to that folder name, .dev, then I will be able to visit the website. And you can see that we do have a blank Laravel install in front of us. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and include the Voyager package in our application. So I'm going to cd into the Voyager folder, and then I'm going to run composer require tcg slash Voyager. And now that I have required the package in my application, I'm then going to add my database credentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up in Sublime Text, and we have our Laravel app right in front of us, and I'm going to edit the .env file. So I do have a database already created, that's called Voyager. So I've already created the database, so I just need to plug in the database credentials. So the database name is going to be Voyager, and the username is going to be root, and the password is going to be empty. And you also want to make sure that you enter your app URL, otherwise your images may look broken in the admin. So I'm going to enter my app URL, which is voyager.dev. And now that we've done that, we're ready to install Voyager. So I'm going to run the voyager install command, which is php artisan voyager install. And if I run this install, it will install voyager, but I can also include an additional flag called with dummy. And this will include some dummy data in our application, such as a few posts, and it will also create a dummy user that you can then log in and change the password if you would like. So let's go ahead and run that installer. And after we have run the installer, if we get successfully installed Voyager, enjoy, then we should be able to visit our application and go to slash admin. And now you can see that we have a fresh install of Laravel and Voyager set up in under a couple minutes. So then I can go ahead and log in with admin at admin.com and password. And it's just as simple as that to install the Voyager admin package. And now it's time to start creating your awesome web application and you can let Voyager handle all the administrative tasks.